Yes. Yes. So today I was invited to lunch uh, at the German ambassador's residence where there was various countries that participated, including Ambassador Otaka of uh, Japan who attended. So the discussion was various issues. There was uh, definitely a discussion about economics, a discussion about the social problems in Thailand, including uh, political freedom and human rights. Um, a lot about international affairs, uh, what's going on. So various issues, uh, including uh, a lot that we have in common with the uh, diplomatic missions of those countries, including the common values that we share with them, as well as common interests that we share with them, including Japan. Yes. Success of CNA, please. Sure, sure. From the highest high when you uh, well, won the most seats in the election, and now seemingly the lowest lows when your party is facing dissolution. What does it say about Thai politics, and also what's, what, in your mind, is the future of your political platform? It says that there's nothing personal about me and Move Forward Party. If you look at a bigger picture, when I was uh, introducing or summarizing what the leader of the party was saying, this is the fifth vicious cycle of dissoluting parties. 33 joined the graveyard. Only one survived because they were dismissed by technicality as the same process that we are going through now. Um, 249 politicians banned. So I think that's a, not just a divergence from democratic principles, but a gr gravity towards competitive autocracies that is a kind of political system that allows elections once in a while, but there's always apparatus that uh, will keep elected politicians, the will of the people at bay at most times. That's what it means uh, current, currently. Similar to uh, my op-ed uh, by invitation by The Economist that will be launched uh, this week. But given the trajectory of your party, I mean, I'm that's the second part of my question about the future of your political platform, the trajectory of the popularity of your political platform. Do you see this being influenced in any way? The trajectory of the, of the party is onward and forward. So regardless of what happens on Wednesday, our political project is about substance more than form. Form is about the logo. It's about the color of the party. It's about the name of the party. But the substance of moving Thailand forward will always move forward, regardless of what happened on Wednesday. Sure. Uh, so uh, your part, it seems that your party has been facing so many critical problems since its time as a future forward. So how can you ensure your voters that your party can bring about changes as promised to your voters? At, as you know, history seems to repeat itself right now. Well, we'll like, like I said, we will continue doing politics the way that we have done. And we, if we win this time and they reject us, going forward, we'll win even more to the point that they cannot reject us anymore. We are going to be the undisputed leader in democratic Thailand. But politics is a long game. And in a long game, it requires patience and strategy, which we have both. So eventually, we'll be able to win to the point that we are not denied anymore. 